Not a lot of artists were doing um, a combination of the collage work with painting. And incorporating the two was kind of interesting to me because it was a little bit different. Based on my love of paper, I've always loved um, old photographs. And um, I used to go to thrift stores and anywhere I could uh, find them and sort of rummage through, you know, old photos. I liked the anonymity of it and it told a story. And it was sort of a collective story that, you know, we could all relate to. And I began taking these photographs home. And uh, at one point, I glued a photograph uh, at the top of the canvas. It was the very first thing that I had did. And I looked at that photograph, and uh, I began the painting based on what the photograph inspired me, you know, to think about. And so uh, I liked that process. And so paper started making its way onto the canvas more and more in the form of photographs. I would say all of my work uh, is influenced by and based on memory. I usually describe it in terms of using centralized iconography that stand in as metaphors for my personal experiences and memories, uh, combined with collage to ephemeral elements that help convey the message of the painting. The imagery that I choose and then depict um, in a particular way, I want it to invoke particular memories in the viewer's mind. And so a lot of my pieces um, do tell a story, uh, a personal story that I feel a lot of people can relate to. I'm a referential artist where I take a reference. It stands as a, in as a metaphor uh, for a particular idea. And um, it's, it's just right smack dab in the center of the canvas, and it's really what the piece is about. It really stems from the love of uh, the common object. I grew up loving Duchamp and um, his ready-mades, Rauschenberg's Columbines. Twenty years later, you know, I'm using paper, you know, still, and integrating collage with oil painting, being influenced by the collaged, uh, you know, imagery, uh, yet considering myself a painter. I always tell people to look for substantial art careers. You couldn't do much better than Patrick in that area because he's been selling his artwork full time since he graduated from college. The beautiful thing about his work is that he has blended the two and he's actually really reinterpreted um, the media of collage to meld with the painting. I consider myself an oil painter that uses paper and collage to sort of build up the surface. The collage is what sets him apart. He has to be a good painter in order for it to really resonate with people. I mean, I'm always collecting collage material. Um, and uh, I many times will collect books and catalogs and magazines not even knowing uh, how or when I'm going to use it. I'll begin by sort of rustling through the papers, looking at them, feeling them, looking at the colors, how they feel, and uh, ideas for pieces will start uh, sort of coming out of that imagery. And so then I begin sort of cutting it up and playing, it, playing around with it, laying it down, um, and uh, the painting sort of emerge out of that collaged uh, ephemeral imagery. If you look at the way that he has implemented it in terms of the components he's put together, meaning the antique papers, how they relate to the subject matter, it's all really beautifully done and beautifully organized. And then once the collage is uh, sort of built up and I sand it and push it and pull it and uh, tint it with colors, uh, then I begin sort of uh, painting. But I've never just done collage and left it at that. Um, I'm a painter. I love to paint. I love to mix, you know, paint. The collage is what acts as a backdrop. I think of it a lot of times as um, sort of a stage set almost. It's kind of like you have the past and the present combined in one piece with Patrick's artwork. And so I develop different types of depth with the collage, and um, and then the um, centralized image sort of floats within that space. I saw this great throwback to this great technique, but I felt that it was really current. And there's a lot of room for people to get behind and into the work. People do feel like they have a lifetime of enjoyment ahead of them if they own a piece of artwork by Patrick with Cicero. I've been doing art pretty much my whole life. It's part of my uh, DNA, it's part of my psyche. It's what I do. I get up every day, 
have my coffee, walk the dog, come in and start working.